Let's get back here with some new information on the FDA's investigation of a possible link between some people who have had seizures and use e-cigarettes. First of all, the FDA has received a total of 35 reports since 2010 of people suffering these seizures, also people that uh, use e-cigarettes. And the last numbers we have show the total number of Americans that do use e-cigarettes is almost 11 million, 10.8 million. City MD uh, medical director Dr. Jeanette Neshwat joins us now on the story. And one of the reasons I point this out, I was a little bit surprised. I want to talk about uh, the risks and what you advise for people that we even got this report from the FDA. They must be worried about it, but they said they have not established a link yet. And they only have 35 cases. Obviously, it's a huge population. And, and one of my first thoughts was, well, couldn't those seizures have been caused by something else? But what, what do you think of it all? It's possible. Um, the thing is that these are 35 reported cases. How many other cases could there be that just haven't been reported? I've had patients come into the emergency room and to the office with seizures all the time. Um, so that's something that definitely needs to be looked at a little closer, and it's a potential risk that the public need to be aware of. Now, you've had um, them come in because, uh, and it's connected to vaping in some way, or you mean just in general we, we a lot don't of people know. have seizures? Yes, right. yes, generally speaking. We don't know for sure. It's not definitive that, um, that the seizures are linked to vaping or smoking, but when you think about it, if you're inhaling this high potent nicotine concentration in the vape products, mm -hmm. you're, you're inhaling toxins and chemicals into your body, into your lungs, and it can overload and overstimulate and affect the brain. Um, we've got these receptors in the brain, and when the nicotine binds to these receptors, um, sometimes it can throw off the normal electrical activity of the brain, resulting in seizures Do you or know headaches. that because of, you've looked at, um, we have a lot more data obviously on people over yeah. the years who are smokers and mm -hmm. is that is there a link I don't know the answer to this but is there a direct link between smoking and in some cases people having seizures and if so would this be the same link or is there no link there at all so there's a link with any sort of toxin or chemical that's ingested in the body whether it's from IV drug use or it's swallowing it or inhaling it there's definitely a link with potential seizures um, if your, your body stop you stop breathing there's lacks of lack of oxygen to the brain um, but that's just one of the the uh, things that we see within with smoke inhalation and vaping Vaping in children. Um, that's just one of, of, of many things. We see also anxiety and depression mm -hmm. and impaired judgment. Um, we see irritability and it also it affects their brain functioning and their brain development. So it, it's a very serious issue and a topic that we have to tackle because yeah. millions of children are vaping and you know they say 50% of the children who are vaping now within six months will go on to be regular cigarette smokers. It's a lot to your point of young people right and that number we showed almost 11 yeah. million the majority of them are, are on the younger side definitely under yeah. 35 and, and many younger than that. So what do you tell those people because the way it's marketed and the reason this will be a big story if there turns out to be yeah. more to it, the way the company's marketed is in many ways is say, hey, listen, if you're a smoker, this is a better way of doing it. This is um, you can get off the regular cigarettes, which we know are horrible for you. And this is, quote unquote, not as bad. What do you what do you say to people who make that argument? So S vaping absolutely can help people and smokers quit smoking and wean off the nicotine. But children, it, you know, stay away from it. Don't pick up the cigarette. It's not worth just testing it and experimenting because it's highly, highly addictive and it's more harmful in children. But yes, vaping and use of vapes can help some people quit smoking if you're able to use the type of vape where you can control the amount of nicotine that you put in the vape. But but Juul, okay. for example, it's just one high dose, you know, cartridge of nicotine, you really don't have um, much uh, control in how much you're inhaling. Okay. Um, we'll see on top of this story. It's just starting yeah. on the FDA side. But Dr. Yeah. Jeanette, thanks. We appreciate you explaining all this pleasure. today. Thanks for coming Thank on. You,